Tikal, the ruins of an ancient Mayan city located in the rainforests of northern Guatemala. Most people who want to visit Tikal end up staying at the island of Flores. Flores is a colorful little town and the island is located on Lake Peten Itza. And in this video you'll get to join us exploring both of these amazing places and I'll be sharing with you guys everything you need to know if you also want to visit. Hello everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to this video. As you can see, I am currently in a dorm room. This is actually only the second time we're in a dorm room on our whole trip. The first time was in Buenos Aires and now here. But yesterday we arrived to a place called Flores here in Guatemala. And today we're gonna spend the day here exploring the city. But firstly, let's start the day by having some breakfast here at our hostel. It's not included in the price or anything, but they do have a restaurant here with a very nice view over the lake so I think that'll be the perfect way how to start this day The reason why we're staying at this hostel and in a dorm instead of a private room like we usually do is just simply because we were quite late when it came to the booking. There wasn't very much options left or all the options that were left were either really horrible looking or really expensive or a dorm. So out of those three options we thought a dorm was the best one. But yeah, we just ordered ourselves some breakfast and I ordered myself some avocado toast. Next, let's go and walk around what I saw yesterday quickly. It looks really colorful and cute, so I'm excited to do a bit of a walk. We're trying to go now still in the morning before it gets unbearably hot because for today they have promised that it's gonna be 42 degrees, which is a lot. It's only 9 a.m. at the moment and I'm already sweating. And then a bit later when it becomes too hot, I think we're gonna go to a nice swimming spot to be able to cool down. But yeah, let's go and explore Flores. So what's nice about Flores is that there seems to be a lot of little spots where you can go and swim around the city. Like here for example, and apparently the water is really clean and nice and fresh. Flores is an island but there is a bridge that connects it to the mainland so getting here is easy. A plane. That's a good sign. I feel like I want something fresh. Ooh, look what it looks like. Looks really interesting. Let's try. Yeah, I'm not sure if I like this ice cream. I think I would give it a 2 out of 10. I thought it was gonna be fresh, but it's spicy. Why is it spicy?
have now jumped on a boat taxi taking us to a place across the island, so on the other side of the lake. To escape the heat today we've come to this lovely little swimming spot and from here there are some ropes that you can use to swing in the water there's like a place from where you can jump into the water they also have things like tables and hammocks and I believe you can buy food and drinks and I think there's even Wi-Fi and toilets so this is now definitely the perfect place where to spend this very very hot day and enjoy the lake and some swimming and stuff like that so yeah let's get in the water I got so much water in my nose, I don't know why, you can probably see in the clip, I was holding onto my nose and then I let go right before I hit the water. Why? I don't know. This place ended up being the perfect spot where to spend a very hot day being able to swim and relax whilst also getting to know some fellow travelers. We now came to this restaurant called Cool Beans. It's literally right next to our hostel. And at least the prices and the reviews and the menu looks good. So I'm starving. Holy moly, it is so hot, I am literally melting, wow. Good morning. Today we're going to be visiting a place known as Tikal. We have a tour organized there. The tour starts at 6 a.m. There was a lot of different options. There was actually two options. I would have started even earlier. There was one at... Wow, that's a loud word. But there was one at 3.30 a.m., then 4.30 a.m., and then this one 6 a.m., and then there were also some daytime and afternoon tours. But we decided to go for the 6 a.m. It's still early, but it's still like a godly hour <laughs> when to wake up and go on a tour. We're now just walking to where we'll be picked up from, and then we're off to Tikal. So everybody kind of gathers here at the same spot, no matter where you're going, Tikal or another city or whatever. And then there's just a bunch of little buses coming and you have to go and ask each and every one if that's yours. It's a bit chaotic, but oh well.
before starting our tour, we've come to a restaurant here that's like within the park. We're gonna be walking for many hours, so it's good to eat something. Some people apparently are doing it without a tour guide, so that's also possible if that's what you want. But it wasn't a big price difference, it was only 25 katalas cheaper. So personally, I thought paying for the tour guide is worth it. First food, and then we'll go exploring. I ordered a very exciting meal. <laughs> <laughs> cheese sandwich but there seems to be some sauce and tomato and onion in there so that's actually pretty good hmm. it was then time to start our tour in Tikal getting a guide was definitely worth the money and I feel like I was able to enjoy the experience even more thanks to him Also something to keep in mind is that it's common for it to be very hot in this area so make sure to stay hydrated. Luckily they have lots of spots where you can buy drinks and take a break while sitting in the shade as well as restrooms that you can use. Now we've got some time to explore this area by ourselves. We're by the main plaza, I believe, and there's a few different buildings and pyramids here. And I'm just climbing on top of one of them. It's very steep. It's very humid here as well. Luckily, we got a little bit lucky and it's not as hot as it could be. But wow, such a magical place. Apparently also at that pyramid over there, the Star Wars movie, the sixth one has been filmed. Tikal is an impressive place to visit with its big ruins and natural rich surroundings. This ancient city, which was likely to have been called Yax Mutal, today known as Tikal, is one of the most significant cities of the ancient Mayan civilization. It was established around 400 years BC and is known for its towering pyramids. This ancient city used to be the home of tens of thousands of people but in the 10th century it got abandoned. The reason why is a mystery though. Today Tikal is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a place you shouldn't skip when in Guatemala, as it is definitely, definitely worth the visit. are now climbing up a bit of a bigger pyramid. According to our guide, it is well worth the climb and the view from there will be amazing. So let's go. Okay, the climb up wasn't bad at all. It took me less than, I don't know, maybe it took me like five minutes and the view from here is definitely, definitely worth it. So far it's been a really interesting tour. Our tour guide is very enthusiastic, which is very nice. Currently we're at this pyramid. I'm not sure what the name is, but apparently this one was the one that was used for sacrificial purposes. It was quite a steep climb, but not that long, so...
there's two. almost like ice cream because it's so cold. Apparently there's some kind of art installation here at our hostel going on. So let's go and check that out. And then afterwards we are gonna go to a nice cafe to grab something small to eat.